I'm not sure I'll be talking as much as I did on my previous videos. I like this to be, you know, tense. And <laughs> I might start talking to myself just because I'm stressed out, but... I'll try to keep the narration to a minimum. Here we go. Naturally, once bled, the product must be scalded, dehaired, and scraped, ready for gambrolling. Gambrolling? Never heard of that word before. And evisceration. For this, we pass them through the steam reservoir, which is kept at a constant temperature by passing excess high pressure venting from the engines via the boiler and series of large copper pipes into a stone chamber just below the workhouse. At the center of the machine, there is a component that must be kept at a consistently low temperature, which controls operations of the processing of product throughout the system. Alongside this, refrigeration is one of the utmost importance in retaining product quality, and this also requires heat to be removed from certain areas of the machine. Two problems are therefore combined into a single solution, the removal of heat from some areas and the requirements for increased heat in others. Conducting panels draw heat using the principles of convection. Okay. Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge to collect so close to the core? We can use the flow to drive the turbines. There will always be a torrent of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this to supplement the steam production and ensure constancy. Dear God, the stench! This fecal matter is the true product of the age. Find the local sluice pump to drop the water levels. The smell is on. Yeah, I can imagine. around here somewhere, fuck. Yep. This is scary as shit. was a ruse. This is a maze.
several of the older forms have breached their containment area and escaped into the sewers. They live sporadically torn from one world to the other and back again in violent, unpredictable bursts. These are damned places now, the abode of failed experiments, ghosts of fear and spite. scared walking down these <laughs> corridors here god damn it yeah Where can I even hide if the... <laughs> Where the fuck do I go? We can set them free. We can replace a rotten old world with a clean new one. Mr. Landis, you sound every bit the fanatic. Well, how can I be otherwise, Professor? How can any man of ethics simply stand by and watch this world drown in its own excrement? And your engineer, this visionary with whom you have embarked upon this course, does he show you? Indeed he does. Indeed he does. The poor fellow has seen it all before. Now, this is not the first great civilization he has wept for. And so you set about things immediately upon your return. Naturally, naturally. These things cannot be left to rot upon the tree. And sponsors were remarkably easy to find. I tell you, Professor, a trail of greed brings rich men to your door like pigs to truffles. I don't want to go in there. I don't want to go in there. Well, he 
is here somewhere. What's this? Yes, Daddy, yes, we can see it. Freak the fuck out. Smart enough to. Alright. Now I can enter the strange decontamination chamber once again and move onwards. The waters are pushed back, making the way to the bilge clear, where I can divert the remainder of this filthy torrent back into the Thames where it belongs and clear the path to the center of the machine. I'll save here. Well, actually, do I need to do that? Nah. Shit. What the f What the fuck? Work together, sleep alone, fraternizing, be tolerated. So these are bedrooms. I'm guessing.
I'm gonna go down there just yet. Fuck, this is a scary game. The game's gone dark and I don't really know what's happening. I don't know where I am. Okay. Climbing down the ladder. Oh. Shit. I don't have that much of a choice. Leaning down. Guess I'll take this one. like this is the bottom. Can I get back up? Guess not. Yeah, I guess this is where the fun starts.
skin of a shroud, a stump with a blade. Old Lily is fly blown, old Lily is dead. And dreams of the jungle will flow through her head and light up her head. I get so tense playing this game, man. You seem to have undergone quite a profound conversion in Mexico, Mr. Mangus. You could not have seen it yourself and not, Professor. As we disembarked, even through my fever, I saw the detritus of this so-called progress. I saw starvation and disease, rot and destruction polluting the waters of the Empire. We are ruiners, you and I, and all of us, and we make the world unclean. And you took it upon yourself to act as Redeemer. <laughs> Professor, I would not be so presumptuous. I am merely a conduit. I am constructing an architecture to wrestle our damnation to the ground and smother it with steam. I am at the heart of the saboteur's efforts. In order to keep his flood in place, he must have disabled these fast pumps. But he was clearly rushed thus far. He has left most of his work incomplete. His clumsy efforts reduced to simply switching off all he could find. If I can locate the controls, the remedy will be simple. Sure. that Well, something started working. Ensure 
where all wheels are in place for correct operation of pumps. Another pump, it seems again I must engage it, I cannot help but feel I'm trapped in some great game. Forced to undertake endless Herculean labors for the promised reward of my darling children. Okay. Just give me a couple seconds guys, I have to respond to a text. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Fuck me. Oh, fuck me. Oh, shit. What am I supposed to do? Jesus. What? What am I supposed to do? for something like that. God damn it. Whew. So hope that doesn't happen again.
Those are some big ass pumps. Noise is unbearable. Oh, shit. I have to go down there. supposed to go down here. I just fell. Great. Blood is drained, I have prevailed, the saboteur is beaten, my heart pounds with excitement even as my head spins and shudders in feverish anticipation. How oh, this machine now throbs about me, sensing its rebirth is imminent, the final descent beckons me to enter. As Lily once lay our wedding bed and summoned me into manhood, okay. Alright. Where do I go though? This way? Back down. Back down. Sort of storage room, I guess. guys have to answer this text and then I'll play some more.
crawled into my bunk all sick and sweat ridden. They cleaned my room about me, but I can only hear the voice from within with it, that gentlest of stones. It sings to me and I dream of a great machine. We will build a new world from the ruins of the old. We will plant flowers in the rotten rib cage and let them grow to the sky. To hold the sky from falling. I remember how it whispered to me as we rolled sick and heaving. And I remember when we pulled into Southampton and we both wept for it was every bit as much a desecration as had been sung to me. And then we came to London and I set it upon the mantelpiece and went into the house and gathered the servants and set on recrafting them. And then I went into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls under the weeping bulges of the rhododendrons. I think I know what's going on here, but in case the people who are watching don't, I will not say anything. <laughs> and when they first said, Daddy, my heart was molten, as if blood frozen upon the ground were held to the sun to thaw and slop, and they were inseparable always together, one soul in two bodies, and my love was all-consuming. I would die for you, I whispered to their sleeping faces. I would kill. I would set this world to ruin to protect you. I have fought through dark tunnels, great engines, the foulest of beasts. I have set my covenant and drained this flood, and I am come for you now, my darling boys. Right or left? Left. Nothing here. And you came then to London, and you set me upon a mantelpiece, and then you went into the house and gathered the servants, and we set you and I on recrafting them. And then you went into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls alone. Rod control room. And they feel no pain. The process is completely humane. Humane, Professor? That we judge the acceptable level of suffering by the human condition. Ask the beggar, Professor. Ask the orphan, ask the whore, ask the starving, Professor, the weak, the sick, 
the filthy. Ask them to define your humane. Master has been here too. This is the epicenter of his meddlings. This is where it began and this is where it will end. I will seek the source of this obstruction and then I will render the sabotage impotent once and for all. Alright. Number three. Sounds like a Geiger counter. This is the thing that's supposed to go down. Okay. Guess that's it. Start the machine once more. Elated, I stride forth upon these catwalks. Set them free. Set them all free. Is this... Okay. I breathe 
again. I rise. I will rise to bleach the sky and steal the water. I will spin the world wheel and set the future upon the path to redemption. Where are my children? You promised me my children. My time is come. More pig. More pig. Boys. Boys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Not sure what to think of this. And emerging, I raised my head to an uncaring sun, and I cursed this world of pain and despair. This civilization built on the ricketed bones of the unfortunate, on the greed and swell of mammon and empire. Cradling a stone egg in my jacket, I kissed my children farewell, and I crawled my way home. Saboteur was me and the voice on the telephone was him, but what of us? How do we connect? Surely I cannot be responsible for all I see about me. Yep, that's what I thought. I cannot remember, I cannot remember. All I can grasp is a moment when the world split into two pieces and the innards of humanity fell from an orifice turn agape in my open bifurcated heart. Where are they? Where are my children? Why do you ask, Landis? You know the answer well enough. smile, tell them that I'm so proud, and then feed them to the pigs. Jesus. Jesus. This is...
Will it hurt them? A cleansing fire always burns, little Mandus, but it purifies and it makes anew. Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask instead this. Can we save them? When did I say that? That is not me. That is not me! happening. <laughs> 